Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Angie and today I'm going to show you how to slay the easy way. So you guys have been asking me how do I maintain my bob. Recently I did the big chop and I literally hacked away all of the broken hair that broke off um, since I had took my braids out. So, so far I don't know if y'all can see but it's actually kind of growing out a little bit. Hold on. It's kind of growing out a little bit as you can see it's getting lower. So what I do is um, like usually on the next day after I um, wrap my hair I'm gonna show you how I wrap it and everything um, I typically kind of touch up so you see these little areas right here I don't have to do this every day but when I've been working out since I've been working out I've been having um you know my roots have been getting you know my roots have been swelling so I kind of like try to flatten out the back part and again I don't do this every day um, I just do this when it's necessary because I am working out um, and then I'll like you know sharpen up the front of my hair um, I'm just gonna take the flat iron and literally drag it down now um, I do have my silkening serum that I put on my hair and it acts as a protector as well so I'll just do this this right here and I'm just touching it up again I haven't put any heat in my hair since I've done my hair and it is going on um, a few days and I, ha I don't have to do this all the time this is just something that I do to kind of touch up um, any hair that has swelled or whatever since I've done it now today after I do that I get my um, my ends smooth and silk it's still lasting pretty good I'm just gonna go ahead and smoothen it okay now I'm going to plug up the clippers because I am um, going to keep it kind of shorter I kind of want to go just a little bit shorter because it's growing and um, I kind of like it um, a certain length so I'm, I am gonna go ahead and go back in and do a little bit trimming to keep my bob like to the length the shortness that I like um, I'm just feeling the, the short um, bob look and so far it's kind of growing out as you can see right here which is a good thing and I'm just going to do one more trim and then go from there so as you can see it's still healthy as you can see the ends um, are very healthy my hair is very 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 healthy I do want to address something um, because I got a lot of comments and questions even via DM um, is my hair processed like so I get a lot of questions um, and I'm just gonna address them and kind of like go ahead and just nip it in the bud address it move on and all that good stuff so I've been getting a lot of DMs people have been asking me is your hair processed um, and some people were very adamant that my hair is chemically treated and I really don't have a reason to lie um, I have not seen my stylist since the whole quarantine situation and since I've been with her I hadn't even got a relaxer I hadn't got relaxers in years y'all years since I was literally a little girl so I do want to address that there is no perm in my hair like it's not chemically treated um, but my hair is heat trained so for that what that means is my hair it has been straightened and conditioned to be straightened so my hair is as you can see some straight pieces because my hair is used to that but my hair does revert back if I go back curly and I just say hey no more heat on my hair my hair will revert back to its natural texture and it is very curly so I do want to address that I don't have no reason to lie about my hair and if it's chemically treated or not I'm just gonna be real my hair is not chemically treated in the um, sense of perm relaxer textilizer anything like that my hair is literally this is how it grows on its scalp just like this and this is how it is straightened there is no <laughs> lies or I, I don't understand why people would think someone would lie about that but I do want to address that because I've been getting a lot of questions is your hair perm your hair must be permed if it's doing all of that 
no honey it's not permed it's not relaxed it's not chemically treated other than me using the bio silk shampoo and condition that I showed you guys that I used when I did the big chop and that naturally causes my hair to be silkier I mean this is my hair textured um, and my hair just does this but it is not permed or relaxed I don't have to lie so now that we address that my hair is not chemically treated other than being flat ironed and silk pressed that's it I don't even use the hot comb like I mentioned using the hot comb because I thought I would have to because my hair was so short but I really I, I have yet to use the hot comb in my hair in years like I don't even need to do that I don't know why I was tripping but let me go ahead and zoom in and we're going to do a, a little slight trim because truthfully when I did the big chop I really wanted to go a little bit shorter and kind of get rid of some of that see-through hair now you may I don't know if you could see it you see some of the see-through right there I do want to kind of get rid of some of that I am going to kind of like go ahead and go in with my clippers and another question you guys had is why did I use clippers because I don't trust myself with scissors to do a big chop because scissors are very like you got to be like an expert expert or you will find yourself like cutting too much up or it not looking exactly how you want it to this right here I can control it I can go across it get rid of any hair that I don't want there so with that being said, I am going to go ahead and I really wanted to get rid of some of that hair on this side that I did not get the first time you see like how much has grown this is what it was before and again this is the only time I'm gonna come back and like trim like this to get rid of any um, any unwanted hair and I'm gonna do the other side No stress, though they're waiting. I keep them waiting. Make up on So there we have it. Um, I pretty much I'm gonna show you how much I took off. Y'all seen it? But for the most part, this is what I took off because I really wanted it gone, but I just wanted to do um a first chop, then a second go round. And so that's um what i'm doing okay so now that we have this as even as it gonna get okay as even as it gonna get because it's grown as you can see like this is what it was before and all of this came in now that's the last time i'm going to trim it um yeah that's the last time i'm gonna do that i, I needed to do that anyway <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, so this is, this is my hair. Now, um, yeah, this is where it was before. So, now that I did that, oh, I got all this hair on me now. Now that I did that and I trimmed it like I wanted it to, I really wanted it to kind of, you know, I really wanted it this short. So, yeah. Now, it ain't perfect. Perfect, I should say. Who wants your back, but that is not me So give it up, I think you had enough Okay Now this is good as it gonna get because I have to repeat I am not a licensed cosmetologist I have not went to hair school a day in my life okay so now that I got it doing what I wanted to do 
okay so yeah this is my hair um i've been sweating it out or whatever so this is a old silk press a few days old and yeah so now i'm content because i got it where i want it okay now that we've trimmed now i'm gonna show you a 360 now again i don't i'm not really confident on how to cut the back but i'm gonna show y'all what the back looks like because this is the best that i could i can do so this is what the back looks like okay so now that we've done that now now that i kind of like got it where i really want it to be i'm going to now um show you how i take care of it like how i wrap it at night so with it being short it's really hard to wrap i um do have this tech studio wax stick um that i do apply to my um flyaways at the top like i unscrew it um i push it up right here and this is by tech leo uh tech tech leo techie tech leo, i don't know so then i just kind of like go ahead and apply a little bit of the wax to the flyaways at the top like that and it has a good smell kind of smells like perfume a little bit um and i just kind of smoothing my hair now i am going to wrap my hair on camera to show you how i tie it up i do tie my hair up at night okay now that um i applied the wax i'm going to wrap my hair so i'm just going to take my comb And this is how I preserve my silk press. Now it's a lot more challenging to wrap this now that it's shorter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and I'm going to use my wax stick a little bit. And I'm just going to go whoop, whoop, boop, boop. <laughs> now that is going to hold my flyaways and I get my scarf ready I am using this is kind of like a little silky head scarf now if you have another way of how you preserve your bob let me know but this is pretty much my way That's pretty much how I preserve my hair. So I just keep it in the scarf. A piece, a few hairs come out. Y'all can't really see, but a few hairs come out. And that's kind of like inevitable. So then I do it like that. And just like that. And that's pretty much how I preserve my um my bob now this is what it looks like so say i went to sleep i wake up um i just move, remove the scarf and i'm gonna show you how well my hair looks after i take this off so then i just take it off like this shake my hair shake it right out of the bob Part it and comb down because I have a middle part going on and okay and that's pretty much how I preserve my bob um i really don't do too much of nothing <laughs> i just like like i said i don't typically trim it every time but i really wanted to get some of that hair that i could see throughout and i wanted it to grow just a little bit so that i could do that and there we have it and i really wanted to go shorter so there we go boom boom 
silky, healthy, strong. And my hair reverts back. It goes right back to its curly state. Um, if you guys want to see a wash routine of me taking care of my bob with my wash routine, let me know. Leave a comment, let your girl know so I can know what y'all want to see. And that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, beauties.